Hi there. Now in this video, what I want to do is show you how we go about solving equations like you see here that have got logs in. And each one of these examples I've chosen just to offer up different ideas. So how do we go about solving equations then with logs in? Well, first of all, you must reduce any of these equations down to two terms. And you'll notice that in this last one here, we haven't got two terms. We've got three terms, one, two, three. So that's one of the reasons why I've given you this one as an example. So these first three involve two terms. Now, when you get two terms, any log equation can be reduced down to two types. Those two types are illustrated here. We'll either have a situation where you've got the log of a number in a base, let's say A, equals some value, let's say B. And from this, it follows that N equals A to the power B. Basic rule for logs. If you're not familiar with that, do go back and check my earlier videos on logarithms. Okay, so either you end up with that situation where you've just got one term on one side of the equals equals a log. Or you've got this situation where you've got two terms and you've got a log on one side and a log on the other side. They must be to the same base, by the way. Okay, so if you've got log of m in base a equals log of n in base a, it follows that m must equal n. So let's just work our way through these examples and I'll show you how we can work with these ideas. So in this first one, already we've got two terms then. And it's just a log on one side. So it's going to be this concept here. And when you compare this with what we've got here, you can see that the n is the x, the base a is the 3, and the value of b is 2. So we end up with this result that therefore x will equal the base, which is 3, to the power 2. In other words, x equals 3 squared, so therefore x equals 9. So a nice basic equation there. In this example, I chose this example just to have the x as the base. But it still is this type. We've got our two terms and log on one side. So in this example, x then corresponds with the a, n is the 27, and b is the 3. So we should be able to say then that 27 will equal the base, which is x, raised to the power 3. 27 equals x cubed. So to get x, I just need to take the cube root to both sides. So x will equal the cube root then of 27. And the cube root of 27 is 3. All right? Now, in this next example, you can see that we've got our two terms. We've got a log on one side, and we've now got a log on the other side. So we're into this situation here. They're both to the same base. Notice that I haven't written anything here. Remember that if you don't write any base in, it's understood to be to base 10. So all I've got to say now then is that the 5x must equal the 2x plus 1. And we've got a simple equation to solve. Solving this by taking 2x from both sides just gives us 3x equals 1. And dividing both sides by 3 gives us x equals 1 third. OK. Now, with this last example, as I pointed out earlier, you'll notice that we've got three terms now. So how do we handle equations like this where we've got more than two terms? Well, what we do is we group the logs to one side and any of the non-log terms we keep on the other side. So we're going to head towards this style of equation. 
but we're going to need to call upon some log rolls. But anyway, for the moment, let's just subtract this term from both sides. So therefore, we've got 3 equals the log in base 2 of 5x plus 4. And then we end up subtracting this term here, the log in base 2 of 2x minus 5. And we should be familiar with simplifying logs. Again, if not, do check out my earlier videos on this. We should be familiar with the log of a value minus a log of another value is the same as doing the log in the same base, 2, of 5x plus 4 divided by 2x minus 5. The subtraction rule, okay, for logs. So now we've basically got this set up here. Our two terms with log on one side and a number on the other side. So if we just carry on down here, then from this result, I can see that it must be the base 2 raised to the power 3. So we've got, therefore, 2 cubed must equal 5x plus 4 divided by all of 2x minus 5. Well, 2 cubed is 8, and it's just, just a case of just rearranging this for x. So if I multiply both sides then by 2x minus 5, I'm going to get 8 times 2x minus 5 equals the 5x plus 4. Expand the brackets, and you've got 16x minus 40 equals 5x plus 4. And then if I just rearrange the terms here, subtract 5x from both sides, I get 11x. And add 40 to both sides, I got 44. And now if I divide both sides by 11, I end up with x equaling 4. All right? So whenever you get equations then with logs in, just turn to working towards one of these methods, whatever seems to be appropriate. So I hope that set you up for solving equations of that type. Now in my next video in this series, what I'll be looking at is handling equations where we've got more than one term that's got logs in, but they're in different bases, unlike say this example here where they're in the same base. So if you want to learn how to solve those ones and you're not sure, do take a look at that video.